Hello, Sagittarius. Rambling Mike here. Going to play some tarot cards with you today, my friends. Thank you for tuning in one more time. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for all of you that have reached out. Touch that like button right there. And uh, definitely appreciative of all of you that have reached out and touched that subscribe button right there, my friends. Thank you for all of that. Thank you for all of your support. Also, all my friends, uh, definitely want to thank you, all of you that reach out and bless me with donations. Many of you, thank you very much for all of that, my friends. And of course, all my Saggies that reach out for private readings with me, thank you so very much. Always a blessing to get to know each and every one of you personally. All right. All that being said, let's play some cards. These, uh, these readings will be for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of April 2019. First half of the month. These readings will be for love and relationships. Relationships of all kinds. Home, work, family. We got a lot going on. I myself, I'm going to be focusing on love. That's because I love to read for love. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, we all know there's no possible way this can be for every Sagittarius on the planet. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, all that funness. So, hey, if these r resonate with you, run with it. Have fun with it. If they don't, have fun throwing it out. Absolutely. Uh, all my cross watchers, you know you're welcome here, my friends. Uh, I want to remind you that even though I'll be saying Sagittarius a lot, these can very well play out from your perspective and probably will. Also, Sagittarius, these can play out vice versa. So let's all fire up our intuition, our psychic abilities, those giftings that we all have as we play with this fun, esoterical world of tarot today. Sag, you've been chopping your cards for a minute here. Woo, man, they're ready to talk too. Let's go with this right here. That was seven of wands jumped up. I'm going to tune in. Hey, Tarot, hey, love team. Sagittarius is here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help me see. Help me speak what I need. Help Sagittarius see and hear what they need out of this reading today. Let's take all these amazing pictures, put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Sagittarius' highest good. Thank you so very much for that, love team. I cannot do this without you. Appreciate you, my guides. Here we go, Sagittarius, cutting the deck. Sagittarius, the first card out here is the Strength card. It's a major arcana, major life force card. It's Leo, may mean something to you, may not. Uh, definitely talks about strength from the universe as you're going through a situation. It is the Strength card. Always talks to me about some kind of polarity difference between the two people, huh? The lady in the white being the one tuned in, tapped in, turned on to the divine. And the beast over here, huh? Talks about taming the beast with inside of yourself as well. A lot of self-work and all that fun stuff. Strength card right in the middle of your spread, Sagittarius. Covered over by, wow, a fire sign, the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, this is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Can specifically talk with me about Sagittarius right here. You could be playing with another fire sign. But uh, this is definitely Sagittarius. My Queen of Wands, she's somebody very good looking, huh? Absolutely. She's the life of the party. The party doesn't start until Queen of Wands shows up. She's also the Queen of Passion. She's definitely magic. She has that little black cat in her lap right there. You know, definitely not afraid of the esoterical world. May even be involved in it. Definitely a very bright and shiny individual. You know, the sunflower right over there. Just radiates life in abundance. Strength, you know, because this queen here, she knows her worth, in my opinion. And um, if she's playing with somebody that's not showing her the worth that she knows that she's worthy of, she may very well just skedaddle and go find somebody that shows her her strength 
or her, her strength, her worth. I'm looking at the strength card right there. Many of my Sagis may be dealing with a, another fire sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Bottom of the spread is my Princess of Cups. Could be somebody younger than many of my Sagittarius or vice versa. This is generally, it's a face card. This is generally somebody, you know, 25, 28, under, round in there. It also talks about love. Hmm? Crushy crush love, the beginning of love. It's at the base of your spreads in the distant past. The Princess of Cups. Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. And this card can also talk about somebody having a spiritual awakening, you know, because of the, the, the strength card here. The lady in the white's tuned in, and she's working with the lion right here, helping heal the lion. The old story of beauty and the beast with the thorn in the lion's paw. You know, let me see it. Let me see it. Yeah, no. It's nice. Uh... It's crushy crush love in the distant past. Sweet communication. Something happened in the past with these two. Yep, the lovers showing up here. Major Arcana, Major Life Force card. Gemini in the house. Major Arcana. Looks like somebody decided to make a choice between lovers. In the recent past, um, like I said, this was crushy crush. Could have been real sweet and loving at one time, but then boom, somebody else showed up in the picture. I say that because there's three people in this card right here, you know, and um, it's not a fairy tale card. It talks about soulmate connection, no doubt about that. Soulmate, twin flame, life partner, it's a major. It's got sacred masculine. Their force is on fire. It's burning up over here. It's got sacred feminine leaning up against the old apple tree being seductive. Hey, daddy, it's over here. Got Raphael up above him going, come on, peeps. We can get this all together. We got Eden in the middle. It's about the steady closing of the gap between these two right here. Strength from the universe as you go through that, my Sagittarius friends, and finding your, your worth in the midst of it. And hopefully somebody having some kind of an awakening here. Let's see, let's see uh, where these cards go. Crowning the spread, nine of pentacles, earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But what it says to me is that many of my Sagittarius may have just been focusing on themselves at this particular point in time while the other person figured out what in the world they're going to do. Because uh, this is my Nine of Pentacles, this is my Empress, Minor Arcana. This is somebody who knows her worth. She's focused on her home, her health, her wealth, her spirituality. This woman right here also is an entrepreneur. She sells falcons. Not everybody wants a falcon, but those that do, they come to her for her amazing falcons, huh? Uh, they lay out beautiful coins that go back to her beautiful house and her beautiful garden. Generally, this is somebody that's single because they choose to be single. It would look, it would appear to me that many of my Sagis are single and wealthy and healthy, probably because of the catalyst that came from this situation right here that propelled many of my Sagis into spirituality, which can lead to the blissful life, cash flow, all that good stuff. Well, they was making up their mind about what they wanted to do. Saji figured out what they're going to do. They were going to do themselves right here. It's absolutely beautiful, my friend. High Priestess coming in the immediate future. I like the High Priestess. It exactly talked about everything that I just spoke about right there about how I feel that many of this was a catalyst of, of a very high degree for many of my Sagittarius friends that propelled them into a, a wonderful world of, you know, knowing their worth. It's beautiful. Well, my high priestess, she's all about intuition, psychic abilities, the dreamer. Many of you may be dreaming about this person. 
Uh, they come to you in the 5D with the lovers right over there. Strength from the universe and the high priestess here. Yep, and them having some kind of an awakening, slowly but surely, huh? Also, you know, she's the keeper of the secret. She knows. I mean, many of my Sagittarius know that this is this is the one. That's why they've chosen to just focus on themselves at this figure point in time. Pretty interesting so far. I love the spirituality aspect of it. Let's fly high. Let's fly high. One thing's for sure, when you fly high, you're going to attract somebody amazing into your life. That's for sure. This is a major arcana. This is Pisces, Cancer, Leo, and Gemini on the board here with the Sagittarius spread. Here we go. Wow, two of cups. See? It's beautiful, man. I'm ahead of my cards right here. See, Sagittarius knows, man, that something is about to happen intuitively. I mean, dreams and all kinds of things. They know that this person's going to show back up. Two of Cups right here. Huh? Right down here by this, uh, the beginnings of love and the distant past. This may have been a while ago that you met this person or knew this person or interacted with this person. Um, but Two of Cups is definitely involved in it. Soulmate, twin flame, life partner. It's all over the spread. The dreams and all of that stuff about each other. Sagittarius just focusing on themselves and allowing it to unfold. There it is right there. There's judgment showing up. Gabriel flying around. Raphael's already in this spread. I don't play with a whole lot of cards, so there's a whole lot of angelic activity going on around Sagittarius and trying to help your friend figure it out. <laughs> and you figure it out. Looks to me like you have figured it out. Yeah, you know who you are. You know where you are. You know the game you're playing. It's nice, Saggy. I like it, you know, because you become the high priestess. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Beautiful. And Gabriel flying around blowing that trumpet. Judgment. Somebody's making a call here. Somebody's going to be making a call in April. It's beautiful. And Gabriel blowing a trumpet. Look who's coming up out the grave. Those two lovers are coming up out the grave right there. This card's about second chances, third chances. Phoenix from the ashes. It's also very clearly a card for me about realizing the fact, Sagittarius, that you are creating your own reality from the inside out. That what you think, feel, and believe is what you're going to manifest right here. So we're sitting right there by the high priestess. So go ahead and see it the way you want it to be. If the tale says they're coming back, let's see them coming back changed and different. Maybe they haven't showed up yet because... They haven't changed the way that you see them to be. So stand in what you want to manifest in your life, my friends. Yeah, there it is right there. This is uh, my Princess of Pentacles. It's in the hopes position. And for many of you, there hasn't been any contact. And I say that because this is a message card. Uh, this talks about messages over the phone. Messages face-to-face, -face, 3D, and like I said, um, be patient because if you're seeing this person come back different, it may take a minute, but it's all good. Let's. Let, who wants them to come back being all messed up, hmm? being all in the land of third-party shit going on right here? Just enjoy your strength, enjoy the journey, and go ahead and continue to believe for this contact to come in right here because I see that it is coming in. It's absolutely going to come in here. That's what uh, Gabriel's about right there. Judgment on top of the strength card. Why would the universe be giving you strength? Because for many of you, this is this is absolutely going to manifest. It is a deep, deep, deep connection between you two people. Hmm? Oh, and look at the outcome, Sagittarius. Oh my goodness, man. The sun card showing up here. <laughs> Many of you may not have heard from him for a minute, but I'm telling you, man, continue to see things the way that you want. You know, call those things that aren't as though they are. Focus on yourself. Love on yourself. You're absolutely going to attract the sun into your world. Once again, this is Leo. We have two major Leos on the board. 
definitely desiring communication. It's coming in right here. Judgment card on top of the strength card and my Sagittarius, Queen of Wands, who knows her worth. It's just amazing what I see right here. Just major spiritual development and spirituality and finances, uh, you know, just knowing who you are. Learning the law of attraction and allowing it to unfold the way that it's supposed to. Beautiful. I see the sun coming in. You know, I mean, this is the Leo card. It could be a time stamp of these two dancing under the sun in that season of Leo right here. What's that? July, August. It says outcome. Immediate future is just you continuing to fly high. And see and feel and believe it the way you want it to be. There is there is going to be reconciliation. This is a divine connection for many of my bottom of the deck. Four of Pentacles. Mm, that talks to me about holding on to each other with your heart chakras, but feeling closed off right over there, hoping for communication to come in. Just continue to see that phone ringing. You know how to do all this stuff right here. Seven of Cups is a little bit of confusion. And, you know, Seven of Cups can talk with me about Sagittarius as you uh, do this work on the inside of yourself that's going to attract this very high-flying union. As you do that work on the inside of yourself right here, what you are, it's beautiful. Um, don't be surprised if Seven of Cups, if other soulmates start showing up around. And like I said, she's single because she chooses to be single. Or he's single because he chooses to be single. Crowns your spread right here. Because they know, they know what's going on around here. This person isn't wondering about it at all. May have other options coming in. And uh, boom, man. Wheel of Fortune came out here as a... As overall, after the bottom of the spread, I like it. Four swords, healing coming here. The Wheel of Fortune, it's a major arcana, major life force card. It is Jupiter. It is Sagittarius. It also affects all four zodiacs here. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. All on this card right here. It's an omen of good luck. Definitely been going through some karmic cycles round and round with this person. Doing inner work on the inside of yourself like nobody's business. You know that old high priestess, right? I'm really, really impressed with you, Saggy. And uh, this is absolutely an omen of good luck. The wheel spinning in an upward direction. We all know that Jupiter has been in Sagittarius for a minute. We're all waiting for it to kick in. Here it comes. Here comes, here comes uh, Jupiter. Flipping the wheel for you. Winner, winner, chicken dinner coming in in this relationship. Like I say, that sun card could be a time stamp for full-blown dancing in the sun. I do see a uh, connection happening here. Somebody's making a judgment call, at least right now, about what they're going to do. It's definitely somebody that's young. See, there may be an age difference between many of you here. See, we got the princesses and the queen right here. The princesses and the queen. There's definitely a, a spiritual difference between you two, the high priestess. You know, I mean, so don't be freaking out. I mean, I see right here that Source is, Source is working on the situation with you. I don't see you freaking out. I see you very, very patient and allowing it to unfold. This is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, Sagittarius. All right, here we go. Love cards on this for Sagittarius, please. Thank you, love team. Very soon, right there, very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. <laughs> Clearly decide what you want because it is quite challenging, you know. I do like very soon. See, very soon. I love the sun up on top of it. And, you know, I mean, time's going so fast, even if, even if Dancing in the Sun doesn't come till July or August. I mean, really, I think, I think Christmas was, what, a month ago? I mean, really, wow, it's time flying by, you know, April. Here we go right here. Very soon, clearly decide what you want that comes to you now. Everything I was talking about, see it the way you want it to be, and don't be surprised if it takes a minute to unfold. 
Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you the romance that you desire. This whole story is about you, Saggy, continuing to do what you're doing. Fly high. Focus on you. Focus on your, your self-worth. It's absolutely beautiful, Saggy. And healing family issues came up here, you know. Your love life benefits as you forgive. Lots of forgiveness and all that. I'm sure most of my Saggies have already gone through all of that. Attraction on the bottom right here. Definitely these two are attracted to each other. Definitely this involves law of attraction to bring these two together. Which talks about not focusing on the past. Because all the past is is a vibrational memory. When we reach back there and grab that old vibrational memory, if it's a low one, all we're going to do is bring that low vibration into our now. So if you're going to go back and look at the past, go back there and reach those high vibration and bring that high vibration into your now. Absolutely. It also talks about not focusing on the future. Not like, well, this has to come together like this, Mike. A, B, C, D, E. No, no, no. It's higher self's job to put these divine unions together. It's your job to be the dreamer and see it the way that you want it to be. I see you're doing that, Saggy. But let's not be specific. Let's continue to let this unfold and be very positive and optimistic about what you want to manifest with this person right here. It's beautiful. Attraction also talks about being grateful and thankful for the things in your life that are going on right now, being in the moment, being in the now, being grateful for the lotuses that are unfolding properly in your life at this particular point in time. It's a beautiful, beautiful spread. And there's definitely challenges right here with religious factors came out as well. It's definitely a high grade union card for me out of this Doreen Virtue deck. Talks about possibilities of major age differences, cultural differences, spiritual differences, religious differences, all that bullshit that's coming off of these, you know, all those social taboos. You can't love them. They're the wrong age. You can't love them. They're the wrong color. You can't love them. They're the same sex. You can't love them. They're the wrong religion. Blah, blah, blah. All that shit's coming off. I mean, that's what you're doing right here. If this is resonating with you. This is what you're doing, my light worker friends. Let's make it happen, huh? You see people all the time anymore walking around in public with major age differences, cultural differences. You see it. It's happening. So this is happening right here with Sagittarius Life too. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful spread. Finances and career, nine of pentacles on top of the spread. Let your friends help you. It's a nice spread, my friends. Continue to see it the way that you want it to be. This union is absolutely going to happen. If you continue to see it the way that, that you want it to be right here. Mm -hmm. All right. Majors on the board one more time are Gemini, Leo, Pisces, Cancer, uh, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Taurus. May mean something to you, may not. All right, here we go. One major on top of this beautiful read for Sagittarius. Tower came out. See? Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. This can talk about sudden change happening for many of you. It, it, They could show up any minute, man. They want to with judgment right there. Tower card doesn't scare me at all. It just talks about sudden change. I didn't see any of those slow-moving pinnacles here except the one right up here that's kind of in your fierce position. If you're doing that, quit it. This is ready to come together. Oh man, this is absolutely ready to come together. I like that tower card right there. Talks about sudden change. Goes very nicely with this very soon card. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. There may be a tower that needs to go on in this person's life over here with the lover's card. You know what I mean? That may be happening. That may be what's... uh. Bring the tower energy in here. It talks about sudden change, huh? Beautiful. One more. One more for Sagittarius. And the chariot came out. Of course it did. Victory. Victory. Uh, they, they may live at a little bit of a distance from you. You know, with the chariot and the mundane. Can talk about possibly a little bit of a distance. But this is absolutely a very victorious chariot driver. I love this David Bowie deck. 
Uh, you know, the ponies have been pulling for a while. I always see Sagittarius with this card as well. The ponies has been pulling at different directions for a while, but the charioteer right there is tuned in, tapped in, turned on to the divine. You see that light shining down on his head right there, driving his chariot exactly where he wants it to go, huh? This, is, uh, this relationship's absolutely pulled many of you out of your comfort zones, splashing through all the emotions of life and all that wonderful stuff. But this is about focused victory, setting your intentions about what you want to do. It's really what this whole spread is about. And do not be surprised if suddenly things turn around for you right here, Sagittarius. Hey, I hope you got something out of this. What a fun read, my friends. I know I got something out of it. Namaste. Love and light. Talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.